All right guys, today I'm showing you how to make easy animated intros on Canva. This will allow you to do your channel name with subscribe buttons, along with how to do the animated names with your social cards, your like and subscribe button as well. I have all the templates down in the description box below, but I still wanna show you how to make them, so let's get started. Okay, so to create an animated intro using Canva, you're gonna wanna select create a design and then go to custom dimensions and do 1920 by 1080 and then select create a design. So the first intro we're gonna do is this one. So you're gonna wanna start with your background. So to find the sparkly background, I went ahead and select videos, sparkle pink, and then here's all the options that came up and I just selected the one I liked. So the one I liked here was with the big stars and then you're gonna wanna just resize it to fit the frame. Next. I didn't want my intro too long, so I went ahead and went up here to where the trim button is, select that and drag it to your desired length. I do about five seconds. I don't want to keep my intros too long and then select done. After that, you want to go ahead and do your first circle. So go over to elements under frame. You're going to select the circle. So I did it to where it was almost touching the edges and then make sure it's centered with the purple lines. From there, I went back to videos and I wanted to create a gradient. So I picked one of the lighter pink colors dragged it in, and then again did the same thing with the trim. And then you're gonna wanna repeat the process for the second circle. Again, almost going to the edges and making sure it's centered. Go back to videos and select your next color. Select your trim and drag it to five seconds as well. All right, and then to do my picture in the middle, you're going to select your last circle in elements. Again, making sure it's centered. And then under uploads, you're gonna upload your photo from your device here. Mine's already in there, so I'm just going to drag it over. Double click and you can change the size. Once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and move over to your name. So under text, I used one of the preset text here with the XO and then you can just add your channel name. To resize, you can drag the edges here to make sure it's all in frame and then use the corners to resize down. Again, making sure it's centered and then drop it to your desired height. And then last, to add your subscribe button, go to element, select animated subscribe. And then I chose the pink option here. And then again, resize to your desired size and drag it underneath. And last, to animate it coming in, you wanna select animate, I select fade and that's the final look. And then you can see the full video here. All right, next we are going to do this one here. So from the homepage, select create design, 19 by 20 by 1080, and then select create new design. This one is just a photo. So I went to pink photo and it brings up the different options you have. So once you select the one you like, go ahead and resize it, or you can drag it and it'll resize itself. Next, you're gonna go to elements and then type in animated gradient. So the one I used is this one right here. Go ahead and click resize and make sure it's centered. And then next to positions, click on that, that's your transparency, and I have it turned down to 68. From there, you're going to drag in your photo, select effects, and then background remover and resize to fit into the gradient. I wanted to create depth, so I blacked this one out by going to adjust, turning down the brightness and the contrast, saturation, and blurred it out. And then you can create a copy and make sure you put those back to zero. Once I had these three elements, I highlighted over all of them, selected group. This way I can measure them out together. All right, and then for text, I went down to the fill in cute. I ungrouped got rid of one of them, just added my name. And you can change the font element by going to effects and then change the shadowing if you want. So I selected this one and then I changed the colors up here. If you scroll down, it'll have default colors. So I chose pink. And then where, where it says the text color, you can do the same thing. For the subscribe button, if you go up here, it'll say duplicate page. Go ahead and highlight everything and delete. Go back to elements, animated subscribe, and choose the glitch. Again, you can change the timer. So I did three seconds for each. Go ahead and animate, select pop, and the subscribe is fade, and then you can play it. All right, the last one is the longest with this one here. To do this, go to Canva, create a design 19 by 20 by 1080 and create new design. For the background, it is a video for the first page. So you're gonna select videos and then I did pink clouds. You're gonna scroll till you see the clouds with the moon. Again, you can bring it over, double click to resize it. And then I did it to where all you can see was the clouds. And again, I changed this to three seconds. All right next, you're gonna animate the gold stars. So go to elements, type in gold stars and you'll click on these ones here. And then I brought it to the corner and then you can copy, paste, and do the same thing. 
For behind the name, I did a gold splatter. And then again, resize, make sure it's even. And then I turned the transparency down to 72. And then for the name, you go to text, the hello darling, and change it to your name. All right, for the socials page, you're gonna go ahead and select duplicate page. And then I changed the background to just a solid photo. So you can delete the background, select photos and pink clouds. You're gonna go to this third one here, drag it over until it's even. Delete the name and the gold splatter. And then I grouped the stars together. So highlight the stars and select group. Then under elements, pick the socials that you'd like. So I did Instagram and TikTok. Again, choose hello darling, ungroup and delete the pink and resize to even it out. And then you can just copy and paste the name together as well. So you might have to use, move the stars up, group, and then you can move the stars back down. All right, same thing. Go ahead and delete the username, elements, animated light, and choose the one that you want. And then copy page again, delete the like, and do animated subscribe. For the first two, my animated text is scrapbook, and then I left these unanimated. All right, but that is how I do my animated intros on Canva. If you guys liked any of these intros, I will leave the templates down in the description box below. Please make sure you are giving me credit when you use them in your description box and tag my channel, Navigating YouTube. I'd also like to see them, so make sure to tag me on Instagram.